In this video, we'll take a look at how you can use the new image role feature in Tableau in combination with an image service called Cloudinary, which makes it possible to create image modifications dynamically directly from a Tableau dashboard. So what is Cloudinary? Cloudinary is a web hosted image service, which allows you to dynamically create images based purely on changes to a URL. And I first learned about this tool from this video by Tableau Tim, which I'll link to in the description below. And it's an excellent video, it goes into a lot of detail of the product, how it works, and the interface and so on. So I definitely recommend watching that if you'd like to learn more. But in summary, what you can do with Cloudinary is upload an image and it will give you a URL to that image. You can then go and make changes to that URL by adding parameters and making changes to that URL. Cloudinary will dynamically generate an image that matches the criteria that you specify with those changes. So for example, you could add a crop parameter and Cloudinary will generate a cropped image based on your specifications, or you could add a border, for example, a 20 pixel red border, as I've done here, and many, many other changes. And one way we could start to generate those URL changes is simply by using parameters in Tableau. So let's jump into Tableau and look at how we could combine the new image role feature and Cloudinary as a service to dynamically change and generate new images. So I'm starting off with a basic dashboard where I have a bar chart showing four values for four different salespeople. And you can see that I'm coloring the bars based on the sales values. So gold, silver, and bronze in this case. So the first thing we'll do is show the images. So I'll click a yes on this parameter and I'll bring in a separate sheet using dynamics and visibility to show the images that correspond with each bar. Okay, and we can see that we have a few issues with the images that they are at the moment. So the different aspect ratios, so we have some gaps at the bottom of the images or on the sides. The images also have different types of backgrounds. So some of them are plain, but a couple of them have some patterning in the background or some other distracting features. So let's see what we can do to try and improve the images for this dashboard by using these dynamic parameters. So we'll start off by trying to change the dimensions of the images. So I'll click yes on this change dimensions parameter and it will generate new images based on the new height and the new width parameters below that. So depending on the settings we use, we can get the images to fill the entire height of the rows, but you can see the images become skewed. They're either squashed or stretched, which is not ideal. So let's turn that off and instead we'll try to crop the images. And we can specify the dimension to crop to, in this case, 400 pixels. And by default, Cloudinary will crop to the center of the image to the dimension specified. Obviously, that's not ideal here because we're zooming into the center of the images and really want to have the faces which are not always in the center. So what we can do instead is use a quite clever feature, which is face detection, which again is just another parameter in the URL. And when we do that, you can see the images now crop to the face in each of the images, which is a great improvement. So the next thing we might want to do is turn these into circles to have them take on a more profile type effect. And we can do that simply by specifying the image shape. So we'll just change that to a circle and those images will become circles. We might then want to add a border and we can do that by adding the border parameter and then specifying a color for that border. We may also want to change the border width so we can move that up to 45. Okay, another thing we might want to do is change the style of the image. So for example, we could render the images using a cartoon style. And you see this with some companies in their profile images, they have a kind of drawing style or a cartoon style. And it's quite a nice effect. It gives the images a, a fairly uniform effect. Okay, so all the changes so far have been fairly cosmetic, just changing the size, borders, and so on. So there's been nothing analytical so far. It'd be nice to bring some analytical changes into these images. So what we can do is change the color of the borders to match the values for each of the sales bars. So we can bring that coloring of the ranking, the gold, silver, bronze to those border colors. And we do that by selecting the dynamic option. And then we change the month filter, the values update, and that will dynamically change the border colors. Okay, let's jump into Tableau Desktop now and look at how this view is built. So we have two sheets. We have one on the left with the images and then one on the right with the bars. So let's just go into the images sheet and we can work through some of the calculations. So, so this sheet just has the dimension with the dynamic URLs. And you can see in the underlying data there, these four rows are repeated for each month. So January, February, March. And the URL is made up of different sections. So I've separated this into the start and the end and then the effects and dimensions. So the start of the URL and the end of the URL remain unchanged throughout. And it's really just the effects in the middle where we're making changes based on the Tableau parameters. So this is the effects calculation where all of the changes to the URL are taking place. And it's essentially just a long list of if then else statements. And in here, I just evaluate the different parameters within the dashboard and based on those values, return a different text string. And those different values, those different effects will be concatenated within here and inserted into the URL. So we go through a number of things such as the outline, the effects, such as the cartoonify or oil paint and so on. And you can adjust the strength of the effect. Uh, we then go on to the outline, whether it's cropping and the cropping around the center or the face and so on. And then finally, we have the gold, silver, bronze um, dynamic calculation. 
And this is just a simple rank calculation running off the sales values. So if it's ranked one, it's given gold, two for silver, three for bronze. And just use brown in this case because Cloudy does not recognize the color bronze. So if you'd like to learn more about the different features and how it works, I've written a blog post which I'll link to below. And again, I'll link to Tim's videos where he's gone into more detail on the Cloudy service and also a separate video on image roll as well. Okay, I hope that was useful and thanks for watching.